So I'm going to be showing you guys super easy ways to boost your FPS that takes less than five minutes. Now, the first application that's really helpful is Razer Cortex. Now, Razer Cortex is really, really good since it has both a PC cleaner and a game optimization section. So once you have Razer Cortex open, you guys want to go into the game booster. Over here, you guys can see the amount of optimizations that it suggests you to run, as well as some PC services to optimize. And literally with just one click, you guys can press boost now. And it's releasing unnecessary memory and tweaking your processes and Windows services. And once it's done, it shows you the amount of memory that's released, which is 2.20 for me. And it shows you guys all the optimizations that it's done, like disabling telemetry, disabling CPU sleep mode, disabling Cortana. Now next up in Booster Prime is where you boost the game settings. So go ahead, go into Fortnite. So once Fortnite is open, you guys can see the estimated FPS that you get. So for me right now, it's 258. There's this bar over here where you guys can slide how you want the game's quality to be. Preferably, if you want more FPS, you guys can go all the way down to performance side. But if you want like a mid tier, you should leave it in the middle. Over here also tells you how much FPS you're gaining. So plus minus 10, so either 10 more or 10 less. So if you drag it all the way to quality, you guys can see it drop from 258 to 196, but all the way to performance 260. And it shows you guys what it's optimizing. So for here, it's the 3D resolution all the way to 80. And just like that, you guys can press optimize and it should optimize your game settings. Now, like I said, Razer Cortex also has a PC cleaner, just like CC cleaner. This is a system booster, so removing any files, any temporary junk, all that stuff. There's a system clean, speed up, defrag and my rig. So it shows you guys what your PC is. First up in speed up. 64 items to be optimized so these are all your pc settings and services and also boost your network settings you guys can go ahead and read all these things if you want to know what it's tweaking but it's just the basic stuff that might run in the background or any like unnecessary app so you guys can press on optimize it takes some time but it's literally going to do all these optimizations for you just like that and you can even restore if you don't want to now going back to system clean you guys can go ahead and scan and it just shows you guys all the junk that's in your pc that's reducing your performance so we can literally clean out 38,210 files and freeing up over 10 gigabytes of storage so go ahead press clean and it should do all the work for you. And just like that, super easy. So the next application is Park Control, which I showed you guys. It's basically just tweaking your CPU. Over here at the top, you guys wanna select the power plan that you're currently on. So for me, I'm gonna select high performance. Make sure to have 100% on all these settings over here. Press apply, just like that. The next application is to optimize your tool, which is once again, a super easy application to use with all the tweaks literally already being inside. Once you have, so once you have it open, just like Razer Cortex, it has a cleaner, but it also has specific windows tweaks to use. First off, you guys want to fix common registry issues. Go ahead, enable all fix just like that fixes any startups, any problems with any applications, all that stuff. Next up, it also has a network optimization where it changes your DNS to have faster internet. So their DNS right now is 8.8888844. You guys can go ahead and just set that DNS. Now in the general, you guys just literally want to press optimize performance. That's like number one thing to do. And that's all you literally need since it's an all-in-one optimizer just like that. And then in the Windows 10 is where you guys can do a lot of the manual optimization. So like gaming modes, Windows settings, system settings, all that stuff. First off, obviously, you guys want to enable gaming mode, disable Xbox Live, and disable game bar. Those things run in the background, and it's like so annoying and takes up so much freaking storage. It has like clipping softwares and stuff. Also, make sure in your startup app, you guys don't have anything randomly starting up. So it shows you all your startups apps. So for me, I just literally don't need Vibrance GUI, Overwolf. All this random stuff you can go ahead and delete. Once again, we have the cleaner, which is cleaning up your windows. So temporary files, you guys can go ahead and select that. And also has browser apps where you can clean up the cookies, history, passwords, all that stuff. But I don't really need to do that. Go ahead and click clean once you have temporary files selected. It shows you guys all the temporary files that 
is going to be cleaned click clean just like that and lastly super easy is the application epic games itself like not enough people know this but like in your fortnite itself in the options you guys literally don't want the pre-download stream assets and the direct x12 shaders apply that and make sure to verify your fortnite files once in a while just to get the newest updated fortnite game users and it should take some time but it should help you out a lot as well so those are two applications that are really helpful in cleaning your pc and also have registry tweaks for you guys to be using super easy to use it literally takes less than five minutes to use both and they're super safe as well also i recommend like once a month go back to the cleaner and clean up your windows pc so you guys can free up any temporary files and any random storages and after that you guys just want to go ahead and restart your pc and you should be set all right so i ran all the tweaks and i also have the fps stretch resolution on so you show you guys it's crazy Running away. Let's go. Thank mm -hmm. you. 